Hey there game makers, welcome back to another game maker basics tutorial we're gonna do the quick and dirty and actually kind of super effective screen check without actually any real work this is just basically a one liner as you can see we just have a screen shake and then we can toggle it off and on just with one line this is the beauty of it this is inbuilt in game maker this is not my solution mine is a little bit more complicated you have a little bit more control but hey um, this one works out of the box as well and it's actually pretty sweet so how does that work under the hood kind of easy so let's say you have your game here and this is your room or whatever and then you just create a new effect layer so this is here you click on this one and then um, there is this one at the very bottom it's called screen check and then basically it just works so this is this is all what you need to know and then well quick explanation for the two values which you're having the magnitude is how hard it shakes so this is a little bit hard so let's go with the smaller values i don't know 10 or 8 are oh, pretty sweet and then the shake speed is how quick that thing tingles so here if you just need let's say one uh, screen shake for all then this is your solution to go of course you can fine tune it later on if you like but this is just the quick and dirty way how to approach it and then well you have it and so how do we control it actually kind of simple so what we do we just do this we just disable the layer and by disable the layer i just say set to visible or invisible and then if you just set it to this then this is how it works and actually if we put it in so basically what we do is there's one little line layer set visible and then of course the layer's name so here for example this was mine how i called it or for example the second one then it would be calling effect one and then we just set it to one which is on or we set it to zero to off and this is basically how you toggle between a uh, screen shake on and off and this is pretty much it of course there are a little bit more fine-tuned way to, if you want to do it with views like i do it so the old school way but this is well, out of the box it does work it's pretty neat so why not use and abuse their inbuilt function that was it then from my side have a good one one up indie.